Hi folks, I was just playing around with how I could make a film, an interactive film with H5P. So the topic that I was making the film about is facilitating a journal club. I've got my various characters. Where did I get them? I got them from the insert option, 3D models. And then down here you can see avatars. Avatars is where I got these characters. There are not very many options at the moment. Let's just have a wee look. So say you want to choose that guy and you can bring him in here. And here are your different views that you can choose up along this top ribbon here. Where I'm switching them around. So say I want to go with the side view, other side view, and then I can move it around manually by clicking on it. Right, so that's how I got these characters around here. That's also how I got this table. Um, again, it was just from insert, 3D models. I really like this 3D model function. There's a lot of options in here overall, and I hope that they will make even more options. So I didn't see it there. It's probably under furniture, but anyway, I just chuck it in here, see what comes up. Then what I did is I went through and added speech bubbles. Here are the speech bubbles. They're having a conversation. And then once I had gone through and put in all of the speech bubbles, then I went through and added the animations where you can see here there's a number one. That means that I've animated that one. So that's going to be the first speech bubble that comes up. And this one, this guy will speak first second, third, and fourth. Once the speech bubbles were all in place, I put it onto the slideshow, this little feature button down here, and I used Screencast-O-Matic to record the show so it could and record my voice, and I voice-overed it. I'll show you what that looks like. So you can see I was just going through and I'm clicking the buttons, um, just clicking the space bar, I think. No, I was clicking my mouse to move move the conversation forward. And even though these guys are not, uh, pretty static, I went through and um, moved them around. So you can see some of them are slightly, you know, this guy's arriving and a little bit further on, like this, if you watch the woman in red, she's... Um, turning around, moving over, getting a bit more engaged again, wandering off, doing her own thing. So it's limited, but it does create something that is um, a bit more fun than a static image, and I think that the learners will appreciate that. And then I grab my film. <coughs> And I put the film, that film there, I've got an MP4. So now I've got something that I can actually put into um, H5P. So here I am, on, in this case I'm on Canvas, on my learning management system. And I've got my page open with various activities here. And here you can see the film I've uploaded. I want to go in there and make it interactive. So here's the edit button. I've already uploaded the video. That's it there. That's what it will look like once it's uploaded. Here are the interactions. And it's a bit tricky to show you this in H5, um, in Canvas. I'm having access issues again to my H5P, so I have to go in through Canvas at the moment. Anyway, here's my film. The problem with using Screencast-O-Matic on the free version is that you get this little sticker here at the bottom of your screen. If you want to remove that, you've got to pay some money or you can um, do a bit of a hack around is to put it into Adobe Premiere Pro and just resize the screen to to block that bit out or blur it or something which I, you can do but I'm not that fast so uh, here we go down here you can see the interactions I've 
already put in four interactions. Let's take a look at one of those. Here we go. So something's popped up. This journal club session is an example of, and then there's the two types of learning that it could be. It could be flipped classroom. It could be blended learning. So you choose one. You can have a look. If you want to edit it, you click this button here. And here you can see what I have actually created. The time index that it turns up, and I want it to pause the video. Uh, so that the learners don't have a choice, but that they will see it instantly. Here is the question. That's where I write in my own question here. And you can see there's your options. Then this is where I put option number one. So in this multi-choice, I would put the option here, flipped classroom. And then I can put in here a bit more information. That's where that little I icon came up and you can write in some more information for your learners to consider when they're making their decision. They can see this before they make the choice on which button to click on, uh, whether they want to choose, in this case, flipped classroom or blended learning. And then you have down here um, the feedback that you want to give them immediately when they click the button. Okay, so that's done. I'm just going to press done. And there it is there. Now I have the option to resize it or um, muck around with various other aspects. I can also copy it from here if I want to create another interaction that's almost identical to this, you know, 10 seconds later. This is a 2 minute 44 film and I recommend no more than 4 interactions in that kind of a length of film. And that's how it works. Okay. Well, that's all from me, and uh, have fun.